Today we're going to talk about similar shapes and scale drawings. Scale drawing is a proportional model of a three-dimensional object. Scale is the ratio between two sets of measurements. Dimensions are the length, width, or height of a figure. Scale factor is the ratio of the model's dimensions to the actual object's dimensions. To find a scale factor, put model over actual. Numerator is 1, it will be a reduction. If the denominator is 1, it will be an enlargement. The art class is planning to paint a mural on an outside wall. This figure is a scale drawing of the wall. What is the area of the actual wall? When you look here, you can see that we have 2 inches over 3 feet. We're going to divide 2 inches divided by 2 gives us 1 inch, and 3 feet divided by 2 gives us 1 and a half feet. So this is going to be our scale factor. Since the numerator is 1, it's going to be a reduction. Find the height of the actual wall labeled 11 inches. We want to find the area of the wall, so we're going to have to do the height and the length. The height is 11 inches. So we are going to set up a proportion. We're going to write model over actual. And we want to make sure that we have our units. So we have inches over feet. And we can use our scale that we're given for every 2 inches. On the model, it's 3 feet on the actual. And we can set it equal to, we're finding height, so it is 11 inches over x. And then we solve our proportion. We have our cross products, 2x. 11 times 3 is 33, and we divide by 2. x is equal to 33 divided by 2. 2 goes into 3 once. 1 times 2 is 2. Subtract and get a 1. Bring down the 3. 2 goes into 13 6 times. 6 times 2 is 12. Subtract and get a 1. You need to add a decimal. Take it into your answer and add a 0. 2 goes into 10 five times, 5 times 2 is 10, so we get 16 and a half for the height of the actual wall. Now we need to find the length of the actual wall is labeled 28 inches in the drawing. So we're going to set up another proportion model over actual inches over feet for every two inches in the model it's three feet in the actual the length of the wall is 28 inches and we're trying to find the length of the actual wall so we solve our proportion we get 2x 28 times 3 is 84 and when we divide 84 by 2 we get 42 so the length of the actual wall is 42 feet now we need to find the area so we're going to take 16 and a half and multiply it by 42 to get the area of the wall 2 times 5 is 10 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. 0 placeholder. 4 times 5 is 20. Carry the 2. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 2 is 26. Carry the 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. And when we add that, we're going to get 0, 3, a 9 and a 6. We have one decimal place, so we move one decimal place over and we get 693 feet squared.
we want to be able to find the scale factor. What is the scale factor? So we're going to need to find the scale factor with the length and the height of the model over actual. So let's do the length first. We're always going to put model over actual, so I'm going to write M over A. And the length of the model is 11. And the length of the actual is 132. And we're going to want to simplify that. So if we divide 11 by 11, we get 1, and 132 divided by 11 is 12. So now let's do the same thing with the height. So we have the height. We're going to do model over actual. The height of the model is 5.5. And the height of the actual is 66. So we are going to divide the numerator and the denominator by 5.5. And we are going to get 1 over 12. So what is the scale factor? 1 over 12. The numerator is 1, so this is a reduction. A dance floor measures 130 feet by 95 feet. A scale drawing of the floor on grid paper uses the scale 1 centimeter to 5 feet. What are the dimensions of the scale drawing? So we're going to need to find the length and the width. So let's do the length first. We have model over actual. Our dimensions are centimeters to feet. Our scale factor is one centimeter for five feet. We are trying to find The dimensions of the scale drawing, so we have x over 130. Our length is feet, our denominator is feet, so we know that the 130 goes in the denominator. Then we solve our proportion. Cross products, 5x, 130 times 1 is 130. Divide both sides by 5, 130 divided by 5 gives you 26 centimeters. Then we need to do the width. We have model over actual, centimeters over feet, one over five, and x over 95. We solve our proportion, five x equals 95. Divide both sides by five, you get x is equal to 19 centimeters. So what are the dimensions of the scale drawing? 26 centimeters by 19 centimeters. The scale of a room blueprint is 3 inches to 7 feet. A wall in the same blueprint is 18 inches. Use this information and complete the table. So we can do model over actual, inches over feet, 3 inches, 7 feet, equals 18 inches over x feet. We can solve the proportion 3x, 18 times 7 is 126. 126 divided by 3 is 42. And you can set up a proportion for each of the other columns in the table. You can also see that for every 3 inches that the in the blueprint link, the actual wall is 7 feet. So we're going 3 from 3 to 6 is 3, so from 7 and add 7 would be 14.
and then when we add another 3 and another 7, we get 21. Another 3 inches is another 7 feet, 28. Another 3 inches and another 7 feet is 35. Then we can take this information and we can make a graph. Remember, x is always on top, y is on the bottom. So our x-axis is going to be our blueprint, and that's going to be in inches. And our y-axis is going to be our actual length, and that's going to be in feet. So we need to make our intervals, so I'm going to number by twos, so this will be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. And then when we go up the y-axis, we'll go by fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, 45. So we're going to graph our ordered pairs. Our first ordered pair is 3, 7. So we start at 0, 0. We go right 3 and up 7. So you can do your best to put your spots there, your points, excuse me. And the next one is 14 to 6. So we're going I'm sorry, 6, 14, so we start at 0, 0, go over 6 and up 14, so that's 5, 10, almost to 15. And then our next ordered pair is 9 to 21, so we go 2, 4, 6, 8 in the middle of 8 and 10, and then up to 21, so we go 5, 10, 15, 20, just a little bit above there. And our next ordered pair is 12, 28. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 28, in the middle there, and we have 15, 35, start at 0, 0, go right 15, in the middle of 14 and 16, and up 35, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and the last one is 1842. Always start at the origin, 0, 0, over 18, and up 42. So that's 35, 40, and a little bit above there. And so then we can do our graph. We want it to run through 0, 0, and make a straight line. Put an arrow on in to show that it extends. If you have any questions on how to do uh, similar shapes and scale drawings and set up your proportions doing model over actual. Just ask me some questions. Good luck on your assignment.